Have you ever witnessed a caterpillar transform into a butterfly? The once earthbound creature emerges with wings, ready to soar to breathtaking heights. This metamorphosis perfectly exemplifies the journey of a transformed believer. Imagine a life no longer confined by limitations but empowered by faith, fueled by purpose, and overflowing with the potential for extraordinary things. That, my friends, is the power of a transformed believer, a powerhouse of possibilities. The concept of a transformed believer is central to Christian traditions. It refers to a believer who has undergone a significant change in their life due to their faith in God. The Bible offers several examples of such transformations. The Apostle Paul. One of the most famous examples is Paul, formerly known as Saul and fiercely persecuted Christians, Acts chapter 8 verse 3. Paul underwent a dramatic conversion after encountering the risen Christ on the road to Damascus. He became a devoted follower of Jesus and spread Christianity throughout the Roman Empire, Acts 9. The Samaritan Woman. In the Gospel of John, Jesus meets a Samaritan woman at a well. The woman has a past filled with broken relationships, John chapter 4 verses 16 to 18. Through their conversation, Jesus reveals himself to her and offers her living water, symbolizing a spiritual transformation, John chapter 4 verses 7 to 14. Zacchaeus. In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus encounters Zacchaeus, a wealthy tax collector known for cheating people. Much to the crowd's disapproval, Jesus desires to have dinner at Zacchaeus' house. This act of acceptance by Jesus leads Zacchaeus to declare that he will repay those he has cheated and give half his possessions to the poor. Luke chapter 19 verses 1 to 10. These are just a few examples. The Bible contains many stories of people whose faith transformed lives. These transformations often involve a change in priorities. Believers may come to value spiritual things more than material possessions. The concept of transformation is important because it emphasizes that Christianity is not just about believing in doctrines but about allowing that belief to change one's life. Here are three essential factors that can transform a believer based on biblical principles. 1. Encounter with the divine. This can take many forms. It could be a dramatic conversion experience like Paul's on the road to Damascus, a gradual deepening of faith through prayer and scripture study, or a decisive moment of connection with God through nature or another person. This encounter ignites a deeper understanding of God's love and purpose, sparking a desire for change. 2. Renewal of the mind. The Bible emphasizes the importance of renewing the mind through scripture, Romans chapter 12 verse 2. As believers study and reflect on God's word, their perspectives on life, values, and priorities shift. This can lead to rejecting sinful thoughts and desires, replaced by a desire to live according to God's will. 3. Community and service. Following Jesus often involves being part of a supportive community of believers. This fellowship provides encouragement, accountability, and opportunities to grow together in faith. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25. Serving others is also an essential aspect of Christian transformation. By putting faith into action through acts of love and service, believers deepen their connection with God and experience the joy of giving. These factors work together. The encounter with the divine ignites the transformation, scripture renewal provides direction, and a supportive community and service opportunities help believers live out their faith meaningfully. A transformed believer is a powerhouse of supernatural manifestation of God's power. Imagine a spectrum. On one end is the believer's transformation, a constant and gradual shift in character towards Christ-likeness. On the other end are the occasional manifestations of God's supernatural power, like bursts of bright color against a transforming background. The Holy Spirit is the agent of both transformation and supernatural manifestations. The Spirit empowers believers to grow in Christ, 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18, and can also choose to work through them in miraculous ways, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Also, imagine a fruit tree. The transformation is like the unseen internal growth of the tree, fueled by sunlight, water, and nutrients, faith, scripture, and community. This growth is rare but allows the tree to produce good fruit. The manifestations are like the visible fruit produced by the tree. They are a consequence of the internal transformation, demonstrating the power working within the believer. 
There are livid examples in the Holy Scripture to allude to this coloration. Moses. God's presence transformed him from a fearful prince to a courageous leader. Exodus chapters 3 to 4. The parting of the Red Sea, Exodus chapter 14, is a manifestation of God's power working through Moses. Another example is David. God transformed him from a shepherd boy to a king who trusted God, 1 Samuel chapter 16. Slaying Goliath, 1 Samuel chapter 17, manifests God's power through David's faith. Transformation is the foundation, the unseen but necessary growth. Manifestations are the fruit, the outward display of God's power through the transformed believer. Both are part of God's work, but they serve different purposes. The Bible emphasizes transformation as a believer's core goal, but the focus is on Christ-like character rather than becoming a powerhouse for supernatural acts. Here's how we can frame this idea biblically. The utmost priority of a believer is transformation. Empowered by the Holy Spirit, the Bible teaches that believers receive the Holy Spirit's power at conversion, Acts chapter 1 verse 8. This empowers them to live a holy life and share their faith, not necessarily to perform miracles. Following Jesus' teachings and reflecting on his character is paramount. This involves humility, love, service, and sacrifice, Philippians chapter 2 verses 5 to 11. The book of Acts portrays the early church's power not through flashy miracles but through their unity, love, and boldness in sharing the gospel, Acts chapter 2 verses 42 to 47. Throughout the Bible, ordinary believers who weren't necessarily miracle workers played significant roles in God's plan. Consider Deborah, a prophetess who judged Israel, Judges chapters 4 to 5, or Dorcas, a woman known for her good deeds, Acts chapter 9 verses 36 to 42. Your primary focus should be reflecting Christ's character in your daily life. Identify and use your spiritual gifts to serve God and others in your church and community boldly and compassionately share your faith with others, trusting the Holy Spirit to work through you and you will become a powerful witness for God, transmitting supernatural manifestations. Remember, the most impactful way to display God's power is through a life transformed by Christ's love. Go out be transformed and be the powerhouse of supernatural manifestations. Thank you for staying with us until the end. Kindly share this message, and let's build a community of transformed believers with a superior mindset. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that yet for more uplifting content, and do not hesitate to contact us if you have any prayer requests, questions, or prophetic vision. God bless you.